Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, I'm your host again, Dave, <laughs> and um, I want to thank everyone who uh, listened to the Dave and Joe Happy Hour podcast number one and number two in the last two days, and all the encouraging comments and um, all the nice, uh, really nice things you guys had said um, in the comment section. I really appreciate the support and. Um, I appreciate uh, that uh, the positive nature of your comments. It's really, it's really nice to see. There's um, a lot of other YouTube channels out there who are in it for the the drama and for the uh, the fighting between fans. So this is definitely not a channel for that. It's definitely a Nintendo channel, and um, I do like to play uh, mainly Nintendo and uh, PC gaming. Um, there's lots of gameplay videos I've posted already on my channel. Uh, in fact, I have hundreds of them. Uh, lately, uh, again, I want to say thank you for all the uh, new uh, subscribers that have come within the last two weeks or so. I think it's been almost nearly 100 more uh, subscri uh, subscribers in the last uh, two weeks. So I really want to thank you guys and um, for sharing all your um, passion for gaming, the uh, same that, like I do and with my buddy uh, Joe that we do our, our happy hour together and it's really, that's a really special thing all on its own and we will do more uh, podcasts in the future um, maybe not this week uh, but definitely coming soon we really like uh, discussing uh, Nintendo and the video game industry over the years we've done so quite a lot um, let's see I've known him for almost 20 years now or over 20 years um, so he's a really good friend of mine and we uh, have a long history of gaming uh, together so Stay tuned for more of that. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk about um, the fact that Nintendo is kind of changing gears with the with the NX console, um, going for a more powerful architecture, more um, you know, basically brand new. And there's a lot of reasons behind that as to why they're doing that. Now, um, as far back as 2014. Suguru Miyamoto uh, was interviewed by Edge Magazine talking about casual gamers and the Wii and, and, and the transition to Wii U and, and basic, basically the difficulties that they were experiencing in that transition. And um, he talked to Edge Magazine and he uh, concerning casual gamers. He said, he said, and I quote, these gamers, casual gamers, the people who, for example, might want to watch a movie, they might want to go to Disneyland, he told Edge. Their attitude is, okay, I am the consumer. You are supposed to entertain me. It's kind of a passive attitude they're, ta they're taking. And to me, Mimoto says, it's kind of a pathetic thing. They do not know how interesting it is if you move one step further and try to challenge yourself with more advanced games. He goes on to say, in the days of the DS and Wii, we tried... Nintendo tried its best to expand the gaming population. Because of the spread of smart devices, people take games for granted now. And he he goes on to say right here, uh, that's a good thing for us because we do not have to worry about making games um, something that are relevant to general people's daily lives now. He, he basically, concerning consoles and um, dedicated handheld, handheld devices, he said that they don't have to worry about making games for casuals anymore. And so that statement is is ringing true. Um, now, uh, Satoru Awada also uh, mentioned something about the NX2 uh, when they first announced it back in March of this year. He said that... Um, when he announced the new system, he said, I intentionally cho chose to announce the development of NX so early because I wanted to confirm the fact that we are developing a new dedicated video game platform that we have never lost passion regarding the future for dedicated video game systems and that we have bright prospects for them. Um, he said, he goes on to talk about the NX, um, the current notion of thinking about home consoles and handheld devices when it comes to how dedicated game systems are being played, the situations have become rather different, especially between Japan and overseas. He goes on to say, since we are always thinking about how to create a new platform 
that will be accepted by as many people around the world as possible, we would like to offer to them a dedicated video game platform with a brand new concept by taking into consideration various uh, factors, including the playing environments that differ by country. This is all I can confirm today. Um, so right there, he almost gave away um, the main hint or the main rumor that's been going around with these dev kits that the Nintendo NX will have a mobile unit that can detach from the console and be uh, taken uh, for separate use. Um, separate use as in leaving your home and using it outside. Um, and believe it or not, uh, Miyamoto's quote about not pleasing casual gamers anymore um, goes right into the Wall Street Journal's quote about um, the NX having industry-leading chips in the system in response to the Wii U not being able to compete with uh, with competitors. Now, um, so if Nintendo, Miyamoto, and, and gang, the gang, <laughs> they are not trying to please casual gamers anymore, who are they going to be trying to please with the NX? The answer, please? Well, it will be the core gamer, right? So right now, the majority of core gamers are playing PlayStation 4 and Xbox One because that's where all the games are. And why are all the games there? Well, because the architecture is the is the the newest for consoles. Not the newest in PC, that's for sure, but in the newest in consoles. So it has the most... Uh, all the games are being played there. They're easy to port from PC to those consoles as well. So if Miyamoto is saying that... Um, Basically, he said it's it's casual gamers are pathetic in their attitude towards gaming. Take it or leave it. Basically, that's the the nature of casual gaming, right? Core gamers are um, invested. They're invested in the product. They want to get the most out of their games. They want to play the game from beginning to end, um, and they want to buy games all the time. That's their passion, their hobby. Casual gamers, they're not that way. So. He said, uh, Miyamoto said that, thank, thank goodness, basically, he said that we don't have to worry about those people anymore um, in regards to making console games. Now, for smartphone devices, they are entering into a different uh, kind of thing there, which is separate from their console business. So, for their console business, they don't got to worry about that. And they, that means that will, they will be focusing on the core gamer. And the core gamer wants the best graphics. They want the online, um, you know, infrastructure they want the account they want the, the membership they want um, they want to be able to play their games uh, as easy as possible and now Nintendo is looking to create this system with the NX to give them core gamers the ability to do everything that they're going to want to so take your game on the go um, cloud saving you know um, sync up your saves when you're from the road on, and when you come home on the same device and have cutting edge technology and a concept or probably something to do with the controller that's very Nintendo like that the other competitors are not doing so um, there is a, a very good reason why um, it, le it lends credence to that Wall Street Journal article uh, why they're putting these industry leading chips in there they're, they are progressing from the Wii U's architecture now, not only just uh, to catch up with PlayStation 4, but they're going beyond that. They're going into the, basically a ninth generation. Right now, we're in the eighth generation. So a ninth generation beyond Wii U would be um, multiple times more powerful than that console and um, also multiple times more powerful than the PlayStation 4. Now, granted, a PC game, take, for example, Battlefront, which uh, the gameplay is... Uh, that I'm playing right here on, on this video, the PC version of Battlefront and the PlayStation 4 ber version of Battlefront uh, don't look that much different. But the technology being used to play the PC version that I'm playing right now is far greater than the PlayStation 4, which uh, is a, it is being played on weaker hardware. So even though the uh, you know the PC version will have better sh has better shadows, better frame rate. Um, higher graphic settings um, the PlayStation 4 version does uh, look almost as good doesn't look as good but does look almost as good and 
my PC is several times more powerful than a PlayStation 4. So you take that in consideration with the NX. Uh, when you think about ports from the PlayStation 4 to the NX, it's probably it probably will be something similar when it's all said and done. The NX might have a better frame rate, possibly higher, um, more consistent, higher resolutions, and uh, better graphical effects that, that are m uh, more detailed. But overall. The difference in ports will not be very much very high in the graphical level because it's a port. The advantage will come from the mobile aspect, from the controller. Um, everyone loves Nintendo controllers. You just can't you can't deny how great they are with controllers. They started with the NES all the way up till now. They make great great controllers. That's the main their main uh, focus there when they come to interface on on um, their hardware. So that's where they, the advantage will come in also if their account system which sounds like it's going to be really um, you know coming up to up to par with the other uh, competition um, they they really have something special on their hands now games made from the ground up for the um, NX with these industry leading chips <laughs> as developers have have said um, make uh, games made from the ground up for the system are going to look absolutely mind-blowing um, there's no doubt about that. So, uh, just from my point of view, um, any gamer out there, I don't care if you have a PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii U, or you're still on Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 and Wii, there's really no reason why you wouldn't want a Nintendo NX with those type of features and that level of, of performance and graphics and the Nintendo quality. I can't see a reason why anyone, any core gamer, wouldn't want that, and I think that's exactly what Miyamoto was getting at here. They're they're done with the casual market with the consoles. They're going back to the bread and butter that got them where they are, um, all the way up until the Wii when they when they flipped everything on its head and had a really successful run there. Now they're going back to the bread and butter that made Nintendo great in the 80s and 90s and the early 2000s. So. Uh, we look forward to that, and we look forward to seeing more uh, information about these dev kits, and what kind of um, what kind of games we could be seeing in the future for the NX, and um, and definitely for now, I'm going to be in enjoying my Wii U. Looking forward to um, Xenoblade Chronicles coming out next month. Uh, some Mario Tennis action should be cool. And uh, so anyway, for now, guys, thanks a lot for listening. Thanks for all the support, and we'll we'll see you on the next video very soon. All right, later.